Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to get familiar with some of the basic screen recording controls. Now, typically in Camtasia, what you can do is you can either open the entire program or you can open up just the recording screen. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to open up the recording feature. When you open up the recording feature, you're going to have a dialog box that will allow you to customize your recording. There are going to be some basic things we want to take note of. One of the first things we're going to want to take note of is what mic we're going to be using in order to use our recording. And so you're going to use this drop down arrow and you're going to choose one of the microphones that you are going to be using. You want to use the best possible microphone with your Camtasia recording. And we'll talk about that in a future video, but you can actually designate which microphone you're going to use in this dialog box. The other thing you can do is you can actually designate your webcam to be used. If you have an external webcam, you can connect it. If you have one that's internal, you can connect it. So any webcam that you want to use with Camtasia 9, you can designate it inside of this recording screen. Now in the select area, you get a chance to determine how you're going to record your screen. You can either record your screen in a custom size or you can record the entire screen. When you choose to use the custom size, what you're going to do is you're actually going to be able to record a certain area of the screen. You can see that here. You can drag this image to the screen and adjust it. If that's not what you like, you can actually click the full screen and record the entire screen. In either case, you can determine what you want your viewer to see inside of the actual window. And we're going to actually close this now. Now there are some menus inside of the dialog box. We're going to take a look at some of those right now. In particular, we're going to go to the capture area. And you'll notice that you can actually record your screen or record your camera. And you'll notice that you can actually use what's called a hotkey, which is the F9 key. And this is very important because you will not have to control your camera with your mouse. And if you want to just start your recording, and you want to do that with a button at the push of a button, you can do that with the F9 key. You can actually stop the recording with the F10 key. And those are going to come in very handy when you're actually doing the recording. Once again, you can set the area to record. And that's pretty much the same that we did when we selected the area. And then we can actually lock to application. And that means that we can actually lock the recording to a specific application. For example, let's say that all we wanted to record was the Excel application or Microsoft Excel. And if we have this spreadsheet open, what we would do then is just click lock to application and we would be locking to the Microsoft Excel application. And it would only record Microsoft Excel and not anything in the background. Now in the next video, we'll review the effects menu, the tools menu, and the help menu. And with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.